your time and as you stay at home, you might be wondering how you can donate blood. And because we all know this is a vital time for blood donations, Denver 7 reporter Eric Lufer is here with what you need to know. And he also has the story of one man who relies on donated blood to survive. We've been in contact with nonprofit blood collector Vitalant. Blood donations are considered essential during the stay at home order. Mobile blood donation sites are being used in addition to some buildings remaining open around the area. I talked with a doctor with Centura Health about all the different uses of donated blood. Yeah, it's, it's much more than just trauma and, and bleeding and surgery. Uh, there are many, many blood products uh, that we use in medicine. Take Alex Biaggi, for example. He lives in the Colorado foothills. He has a rare autoimmune neuromuscular disease similar to MS. It affects his arms, hands, and legs. He has to walk with braces. And plasma is a major component of his bi-weekly at-home injections he desperately needs. For me, some QIG keeps me stable. But if I go off it, I might see some declines. And for some people, it's life or death. Just goes to show how important it is that he keeps up with those vital injections and so many other people across the country. So how can you donate and where? Well, you're asked to make an appointment. Just go to vitalant.org. We'll have a link on our website as well. We've been getting lots of calls and emails from people saying they can't get a spot because appointments fill up so fast. Vitalant asks that you make an appointment further out because donations will continue to be steadily needed in the coming days and weeks. The Red Cross also holding blood drives right now. I'm Eric Lufer, Denver 7.